To get started, we're going to start by making a waistband, something like this. And I'm going to show you how to make it. Uh, I'm going to be using a four, a four millimeter hook, which is a G hook, G6. And I'm going to be using Robin Yarn, 100% acrylic. And I'm also going to double the strands. So you're going to start by making a knot. Insert your hook and you're going to chain 10 plus two. So chain one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then you're going to add two more chains. Chain one and two. Okay, so from here you're going to yarn over and you're going to make a half double crochet into the third stitch from the hook. So this is one, two, and three, and that's where you're going to place your half double crochet. Yarn over into the next stitch make a half double crochet and you're going to repeat making half double crochets until you get to the very end once you get to the end you're going to make your last half double crochet into the very last stitch chain two turn your work And now we're going to start working into the back loops only and at the end of row one you should end up with 10 stitches so this is one two three four five six seven eight nine and this is the very last one which is the tenth okay so chain two turn your work yarn over and into the very last stitch which is this one here you're going to make a half double crochet in the back loop okay instead of going into both loops you're going to go into one which is at the back so make a half double crochet there a half double crochet into the next back loop and you're going to repeat that until you have one stitch left So I have one stitch left and it is at the very end and what we're going to do here is we're going to go through both loops because we don't want to pull this up and then it's going to be hanging. I don't like that but it's all up to you. So the stitch that's at the extreme end we're going to be working into both loops only in the last stitch. Okay, place there a half double crochet and at the end of row 2 you should end with 10 stitches so it's going to be 10 stitches for all the rows that you're going to be making chain 2 turn your work yarn over into the back loop make a half double crochet a half double crochet into the next back loop a half double crochet into the next back loop until you get to the end okay we have one stitch left here and we're going to go through both loops like that chain two and then you're going to repeat row two and three until you have a waistband that's um, half of your waist measurement okay and you're going to make two of them so you're going to make the first one and then make the second one but don't cut off the yarn once you're done with the second waistband so you're going to repeat that until it's long enough to go around your 
front part or back part of your waist and then you're going to go ahead and make the second one actually the second uh, the second one is going to be the one that goes around at the back so keep making one half double crochet in each back loop and I'll meet you back once you are done with that I'm now working towards my last row okay that's my last row and I have made 25 rows so now we're going to chain one so we chain two and we are now going to work around this edge here making two single crochets in each row so this is the first row here we're going to make to place there two single crochets and into this next row you're going to place there two single crochets as well two single crochets into the next rows and you're going to repeat this all the way around remember we're working on these rows like that two single crochets two single crochets until you get to the end Okay, I'm now working on my last my last row. So that's how your work should be looking at this point. And we're now going to start working on the body of our bottoms and we're starting with the back part. So from here you're going to chain up two one two turn your work and you're going to make one half double crochet in each of the stitches that you have so make one half double crochet in each stitch and you're going to make two of these rows Okay, this is the last stitch chain two and then you're going to make another row of half double crochets until you get to the end so make one half double crochet in each stitch I'm done with my two rows of half double crochets and from here we're going to start um, decreasing on both sides so you're going to chain up two and turn your work then you're going to yarn over insert your hook into the first stitch and then yarn over again insert your hook into the next stitch pull up a loop and you're going to end up with five loops on your hook and then you're going to pull through all the five loops from your hook and then you're going to make one half double crochet in each stitch until you have two stitches left so make one half double crochet in each of the stitches 
until you get to the end and have only two stitches left because we're going to make a decrease in the last two stitches. Once you get to the end and you have two stitches left, you're going to make a decrease. So insert your yarn over and insert your hook, pull up a loop, you'll have three loops on your hook, yarn over again, insert your hook into the very last stitch and pull up a loop. This will give you five loops on your hook and then you're going to pull through all the five loops of your hook. Then chain two, turn your work, and you're going to repeat that same process. Yarn over, insert your hook into the first stitch, pull up a loop, you'll have three loops on your hook. Yarn over again, insert your hook into the next, pull up a loop, you'll have five loops on your hook, and this time you're going to pull through all the five loops of your hook. Then yarn over, Insert your hook into the next stitch and make a half double crochet and you're going to make one half double crochet in each stitch until you have two stitches left. Okay, once you have two stitches left, you're going to yarn over, insert your hook, pull up a loop, yarn over again. Insert your hook into that last stitch and pull up a loop and then you're going to pull through all the loops of your hook. Chain two, turn your work and you're going to repeat those two rows that we just completed. So you're going to be making decreases on both sides. Okay, you're going to do that when ending the row and when, when starting the row. So you're going to repeat that until you have uh, 20 to 21 rows depending on the size that you're making this for. But I'll go ahead and make these decreases and then I'll, I'll just tell you guys how many rows I have made. Alright, I'm back guys and I have completed my, I made 20 rows for the decreases so we have decreased for 20 rows and so far this is what I have and what we're going to do next is work on the uh, crotch part. So from here we're going to stop making the decreases. So you're going to chain two, I already chained here chain to turn your work yarn over and into this very first stitch make a half double crochet make a half double crochet in the next stitch and into the next until you get to the end So we're now making the regular half double crochets, no increasing, no decreasing, okay? So I have only one, two, three, four, five, six, seven stitches here. Chain two, turn your work, yarn over, make your first half double crochet into the next stitch and into the next and in all the stitches don't skip this very last one okay so we're just making a straight thing for the crotch, chain two, turn your work and repeat that row. 
all right so i quickly went ahead and made i made 13 rows for this crotch part here and this measures up to one inch and a half yeah so from here now we're going to start working upwards making the front part of our bikini okay so we're now going to start working on this part here so now we're going to start making our increases so you're going to chain up three rather two sorry chain two turn your work and yarn over and into this very first stitch into this very first stitch here you're going to place the two half double crochets that's one and two then yarn over make one half double crochet into the next stitch and into the next until you have one stitch left so in the very last stitch which is this one here we're going to place there two half double crochets okay so we're making two half double crochets at the beginning of the row and at the end of it chain two turn your work yarn over and into this first stitch place the two half double crochets one half double crochet into the next And into the very last one you're going to place the two half double crochets that's one and two chain two turn your work repeat that until you have 13 rows of your increase Here we are, I have completed my 13 rows of increases and this is what I have. So uh, now what we're going to do, we are going to fold this like this to identify the, the middle part here. So we are going to fold it like this. And then you're going to get your stitch marker and mark the stitch that's in the center here okay so mark that stitch okay so now you're going to You're going to chain two, turn your work, yarn over, make an increase here, one and two half double crochets in the same space. Make one half double crochet in each stitch until you you have two stitches left to the stitch marker. two stitches left um, this is the first one 
and the one where the stitch marker is so here we're going to make a decrease a half double crochet decrease so you're going to yarn over insert your hook into the next stitch pull up a loop yarn over again insert your hook in the stitch where that you have your stitch marker pull up a loop and you will have five loops on your hook and then you're going to pull through all the five loops then chain two turn your work yarn over and you're going to start with by making a decrease here insert your hook pull up a loop yarn over again insert your hook into the next stitch pull up a loop and then pull through all the loops of your hook and then continue making one half double crochet in each stitch until you have one stitch left So into the very last stitch, you're going to place the two half double crochet. So you're making there an increase. That's one. And two. Chain two, turn your work. And you're going to make two half double crochets into the first stitch. Make one half double crochet in each stitch until you have two stitches left. These are our last two stitches and what we're going to do is yarn over and make two half double crochet into those two. We're going to make a half double crochet decrease. Okay. chain two turn your work and you're going to make a half double crochet decrease and this time we're not going to increase at the end so guys we have made an increase of three rows counting from here from where the stitch marker is we made a half double crochet decrease this side and we made an increase at the end here so now we're going to start making the decrease here in the in the center and we're going to keep it straight at the end so we're going to yarn over and make your first half double crochet decrease then make one half double crochet in each and every stitch until you get to the end so once you get to the end this time you're not going to increase you're just going to place the one half double crochet chain two and turn your work so we have stopped increasing here we're going to just keep making the decreases here in the center so make one half double crochet in each stitch until you get to the end where we're going to place two half two half double crochet decrease we have two stitches left here and we're going to make a decrease
chain two, turn your work and make a decrease. Then one half double crochet in all the rest of the stitches. So this is how our work is looking now. Okay. This is how it looks. So you're going to make about four to three more rows. I'm going to go ahead and complete main and then I'll get back guys and show you how many rows I have made. And then we're going to work on this other side separately. So I have made a total of 10 rows from where we have our stitch marker. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. So we have made 10 rows and from here, we're just going to cut the yarn leaving a long tail. We're going to use this to, to sew it on this front part okay and at the end of this at the end of the row i have only 10 stitches one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten so i have 10 stitches here and those are the stitches i'm going to join here i'm going to stitch these on here so before we do that we're going to work on this other side and we're going to do the exact same thing we did on other side on this side so remember we did so we made three rows of increases and decreases here and then we stopped doing that you might need to go back and um, watch that part once again in case you in case you need to okay so you're just going to Make a knot okay and you're going to attach a yarn here you can take the stitch mark off so insert your hook and we attach a yarn chain one to secure it so chain one yarn over back in that same stitch pull up a loop yarn over again and into the next insert your hook and pull up a loop and then pull through all the loops of your hook so we have started with a half double crochet a half double crochet decrease and then from there we're going to make one half double crochet in each stitch until we have one stitch left. And at the end of the row, we're making two half double crochet into that very last stitch. Chain two, turn your work. And then you're going to make two half double crochet into that first stitch. In one half double crochet until you have two stitches left once you have two stitches left you're going to make a decrease that chain two like I said you're going to repeat the same exact thing we did on this other side so go ahead and complete that and I'll get back and show you what to do next once we are done with this front part. So once you are done working on both sides, um, here is what we're going to do. You're going to get the second piece that you made, the second waistband that you made, and we are going to you're going to attach it 
here. So So remember you have to do this from the inside part, like from the wrong side. I'm going to use my stitch marker and hold this together right here. So now we're going to join this from here up to the end. And I'm going to use the slip stitch stitch. But you can use a yarn needle or any stitch that you find easy for you to use. You're going to go through the first loop, making a slip stitch, and into the next. Chain one, slip stitch. Cut the yarn off. Leave a tile to weave in later. And this is how it looks from the right side. And this is the wrong side. Okay, so you're going to go ahead and join this other part the same way. Remember, you're not stretching it. Don't stretch it. Don't do nothing. Just join the way it is. So I'm going to go ahead and join this part as well. And I'll meet you guys back once we... and, and once we are done joining this. So by now I'm assuming that you are done joining both sides and we're now going to work around this side here. And I have already worked on this side and I'm going to show you how to do it. And then we are yeah, and then we'll be done with our project for today. So, uh, for the for this edging here, I'm going to be using this yarn. I think uh, it's called sugar and cream. Yeah, so I'm going to be using this yarn. So make a loop. And then you're going to figure out where the wrong side is. So I'm going to start from this side. in one and we're now going to be making single crochets so insert your hook into the next stitch and make a single crochet so I'm making the single crochets in the 
between the stitches as you can see So we're going to be making these single crochets until we get to the end and then from there we're going to be making the loops. We're going to be making loops where the chain is going to be passing. Getting some yarn here. So when you get to this point, you're going to be working in the rows. So you, you'll be placing one single crochet in each in each row. As I'm showing you in the video. Repeat making these single crochets and I'll meet you at the end. So once you get to the end of the row, you're going to chain up three. One, two, three, turn your work. And you're going to count one, two, three stitches and make a slip stitch. Chain three, one, two, three. Count one, two, and into the third, you're going to make a slip stitch. Chain one, two, three. Skip one, two, and into the third stitch, make a slip stitch. One, two, three. Skip one, two, into the third, make a slip stitch. We need five five loops one two three four so one more to go one two three one two into the third make a slip stitch chain one make a slip stitch into the next stitch again chain one and cut the yarn So we have created those loops and that's where um, the chain is going to pass. So you're going to go back to this side and do the same thing. So make a knot and reattach your yarn here. Chain three, one, two, three. Skip one, two, into the third, make a slip stitch. Chain one, two, three. Count, count one, two, and make a slip stitch into the third stitch. We're going to make a chain. We're going to make two chains, which which we're going to use to tie these two sides. So you're going to make a loop and make a chain as long as you want it to be. Okay, so I didn't count how many chains I made, so I'm just going to tell you guys how many inches it is. There. So my chain is 30 inches long. So you're just going to cut off the 
here if you want you can make a fringe and attach it on the chains and that's the video for today guys thanks for watching i'll see you all in my next video bye